Hi, I'm Rachel Jenkins with Cape Fear Newspapers. You're watching Community News Today on Topics Design TV. We bring you all the news from Pender, Duplin, and Onslow counties. Let's start today with an update from Pender County. Its raw material is not the topic of polite conversation, but the residents of Maple Hill joined county and other government officials to dig in and welcome a wastewater treatment plant to the neighborhood. Locals spearheaded the project, sometimes going door to door, but none were more involved than Bryant Shepard, a retiree who juggles several volunteer activities at once. If you quit, you're gonna die, Shepard said before the groundbreaking for the new facility April 15th on Maple Hill School Road. I refuse to die. He was on this like a bulldog, said George Brown, chairman of the Pender County Board of Commissioners. We needed a leader and he was the leader in this, said Mary Jordan from the back of the crowd that had gathered under a tent for the ceremony. Shepard said he got wind of the need for a treatment plant in the early 2000s when he was working on an ill-fated plan to incorporate the township. He said he received information from the North Carolina Rural Community Assistance Project that about 50% of the septic systems were failing or were piping directly into Holly Shelter Creek. Shepard recruited a number of neighbors to go door to door to verify the problem and to get residents to sign a promise that they would hook to the new wastewater service once it was available. It truly was a community commitment, Shepard said. We could not afford not to do it. Within a couple of years, Shepard and his flock had a grant request and the project outlined and went to the county for the final push. We needed an entity, Shepard explained. We weren't an entity. The Maple Hill Wastewater Treatment Plant should be up and operating by early next year, Shepard said. And Commissioner F.D. Reifenbach said an added benefit will be that more lots will be available for development. We're hoping for a nice new tax base, Reifenbach said to laughter. Also contributing to the cause were the North Carolina Rural Economic Development Center, which added funds from the 1998 Clean Water Bond Act, and the North Carolina Clean Water Management Trust Fund. Managing the two grants is Cape Fear Resource Conservation and Development. But it was the Maple Hill people, my friends, Shepard says. This is thanks to those folks. Courthouse Cafe is sponsoring a magazine drive in honor of Earth Day. Donors will receive free stamps on their coffee card. Donations of old magazines can be left through today. Today is the last day at the cafe at 106 Courthouse Avenue in Burgall or at Moore Creek Battlefield National Park in Curry. Sherry Van Vakoven is a self-taught fundraiser and a sporty volunteer. Only now it's a sport she gets paid for most of the time. Van Vakoven is the newest executive director of the Greater Hampstead Chamber of Commerce, a job she worked into from her days as a volunteer for the Topsail High School Athletic Boosters and her stint as chamber office manager. A not-for-profit is a not-for-profit, not Van Vakoven said. We know what to do. You promote your cause, get to know people, and raise money. And that's what she said she enjoys. I love my job, she said. Van Vakoven said she enjoys the creating the activities that would bring the community into the THS world. And now that, now that translates into her chamber work of promoting the community and its businesses, even when it means working off the clock to set up special events. When you believe in something, it becomes a part of you, Van Bekoven said. That makes it easy to do it as a volunteer to get the job done. It doesn't feel like work. It's a good cause for good people. Van Vakoven admits she didn't know how much she didn't know much about the workings of a chamber when she first joined at the request of a friend and former chamber president who insisted it is so youth. After some on the job training, Van Vakoven had to agree. We have a unique, strong business community, she said. It makes it easy to work for them. Her job, she said, is partly to promote Hampstead to itself. People often go into Wilmington for their shopping, but they can find a lot of what they're looking for right here. We're a growing community, Van Bekoven said. The other side of her work is to bring businesses into the chamber and keep them there as movers and shakers in their own right in their community. This year, as with the past few during the down economy, the chamber's membership sh shrank a bit during the winter months to about 160. That should build back up as seasonal businesses begin gearing up again. My goal is to keep members and to find out what they want from us, Van Bekoven said. If someone has a maybe-have and a must-have pile on their desk, 
We want to be in the must-have. Van Verkoven said that even with the area's growth, there are still niches of businesses that need to be filled. So we get new people moving in to start up here, she said, adding that the chamber rec records about three new members per month. As part of her chamber job, Van Verkoven has come up with the Pamper Yourself Party. For $20, women are invited 6 to 9 p.m. on May 13th at the Topsail Island Moose Lodge, where they can take advantage of massages, hair restyling, waxing, makeup and makeovers, and shop vendors offering clothing, lingerie, purses, and jewelry. They should also, there should also be information about self-breast exams, domestic violence, heart disease, and other life lessons. The chamber, she said, is hoping to put together something similar for the men. Van Vakoven is equally passionate about her non-paying job fundraising for the boosters. This year, they hope to bring in up to $5,000 in a raffle of a John boat and all the fixings. Tickets are $10 and only $1,000 will be sold before the drawing at 10 a.m. on May 28th. The prizes, which the THS boosters bought from Johnson's Marine, includes the boat and trailer plus a Honda motor valued at $5,900. Tickets may be picked up at the school or at the chamber. Contact numbers to purchase tickets are Melissa at 276-451-1143, Sherry herself at 919-619-7178, Patty at 910-264-6699, or THS at 910-270-2755. There is a huge need for athletics at the high school level, Van Bekoven said. Most of the support comes from gate receipts. The boosters try to fill in the gaps where funding is not available. A native of Wilmington, Van Bekoven said she had plans to see other parts of the world when she met her soon-to-be husband, Michael, who was from Chicago. But as luck would have it, Michael fell in love with the area and said he would never leave, his wife said. Michael Van Bekoven operates Logic Hydraulic Controls in Wilmington. When the family moved to Hampstead, the two older girls, Stephanie, now 19, and Ashley, now 17, played soccer and other sports at THS, thus spurring their mother into motion. The youngest, Rebecca, 10, still is at Topsail Elementary. We are a growing school, Miss Van Bekoven said. People are moving here. We need to work together to keep up. That's today's update from the Pender Chronicle, which you can check out every Wednesday for all your Pender County news. We'll be back after these short messages with news from our other readership areas. Thank you. 